Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Civilization 5. Obviously with Civilization 6 coming out in a month or two I'm going to be playing that but it's been a while since I picked up Civ 5 so I decided I might want to make a, another video or two. Keep in practice, not that it'll make a lot of difference because some of the changes in, uh, in Civilization 6 are going to be significantly different so you know even if you're the best Civ 5 player in the world it won't make all that much difference probably anyway ignore the setup that you see on the screen because what i did actually do was start recording a new series yesterday a series that will never see the light of day um that had the exact same setup you're seeing on the screen now i was playing as arabia on deity difficulty and um, basically what happened within the first three turns i bumped in to attila's scout who was my neighbor his capital city was about eight tiles away uh, a couple of turns after that he forward settled me with his second city obviously deity ai starts with a second settler and by about five minutes into the second video so i've been playing the game for about 25 30 minutes um, he declared war on me, and all I'd managed to build within, even though I had a fairly decent starting location, all that I'd actually managed to build within that time was um, my scout, my monument, I'd stolen a worker, I'd got two archers that I'd built, my scout had been upgraded to a bowman via the um, ancient ruins, my initial warrior had been upgraded to a spearman via the ancient ruins, so I'd got four units... Um, I didn't really have time to... I suppose if I hadn't have built the Settler, I might have been able to get another couple of archers out. Uh, but Attila jumped on me with like five warriors, three cavalry archers, and three battering rams, and I lost my capital within three turns. So I thought, right, screw that, what else can I do? Because, yes, I've proven that I can beat the game on Deity, but I really don't enjoy it, because the advantages the AI get is just complete BS. So I've decided to do something that quite a few of you have suggested on previous videos and that is to try and do some of the achievements and I actually would like to do that. I'm probably going to do most of them on King though and the reason for that is some of them require you to do very specific things which would be almost impossible if you were playing them on a harder difficulty level. Theoretically you could probably get most of the achievements by just playing the game on Settler but I do still want the game to be a little bit of a challenge. So what we're going to do for this game we are going to use the shuffle map type. I've got the, oh, I did at one point have the quick combat and quick movement turned on because I know that that does upset some people. Uh, we're going to use the shuffle map because I do like it. We'll use the epic pace. But what we are going to be doing is we are going to be playing as Gandhi. And um, the reason that we're going to do this, um, if we look at his specific modifiers here, if you're unfamiliar with it. So the happiness from the number of cities is doubled, but unhappiness from number of citizens is halved. So India is designed for building tall. And their unique uh, units are the war elephant that replaces the chariot archer. You can get it nice and early. Uh, and it doesn't actually require any... Um, uh, strategic resources. I don't think you need horses for that. Then you've got the Mughal Fort that replaces the castle and um, gives you a bit of extra uh, tourism. And then uh, that's pretty much it really. Uh, India is quite a simple nation. The reason I want to do this as India is there is a very specific, um, a very specific achievement called Bollywood which is to win a cultural victory with three or fewer cities in your empire. And the reason I specifically want to do this one is because I've already won a game as India in the past. It wasn't a game that I did on the channel, at least I don't think it was. Uh, but I won a game as India and I won a cultural victory. I wasn't even aiming for one, but you know that's what ended up happening at the end. And uh, I actually won with four cities. And what annoyed me the most is I didn't even know that this achievement existed until after I'd already won the game. And I didn't even get my fourth city until right near the end. So for like 90% of that game, I only had three cities. If I hadn't have taken or settled a fourth city, I would have actually had the achievement. So that is the one that we're going to be aiming for today. Okay, so... We are in. That's not a bad start, actually. We've got a little bit of tundra nearby. I mean, this is a shuffle map, so, you know, it could be all over the place. Um, but we do have some deer. We've got a jungle. We've got some stone here. We've got two luxury resources. I mean, I guess we could have a little bit of a look around. We don't have awfully far we can go. We've got a mountain over here in an ancient ruin. I mean, we could move slightly further to the left here and be within range of 
uh, one, two, three, in the range of the spices. But I think this might be a, possibly a spot for another city. Looks like there's a river here and a mountain. So I think we will just go and um, settle in place here. Now remember to put it on production focus and go for the food tile. So that's where we will start with that. We're also going to start by getting our scout up and running. Now, again, I am used to playing this game on higher difficulty levels. So I'll probably rock through this quite quickly, even though we are playing on... Um, uh, we are playing on epic pace. So what's our first tech going to be? Well, probably pottery. We do want to try and get the shrine up and running. We must remember, we do want to try and beeline for things that give us um, culture. So let's go on to the next turn. And so we might just do some silly achievement runs. Some of them may not even be full games. We might just do some things in order to get the achievements. Uh, oh, we've got two population already. That's fantastic. So let's go and put you in that tile there. So shame about that tundra tile. I mean, some of these tiles... The, the tiles are balanced, but not brilliant. So it's not going to be the greatest of starts, but I think we'll be okay. So let's go on to the next turn. We'll probably end up sending our scout off to the east initially. Uh, we have met Sejon. I was going to say, normally I would turn career off because their science bonuses that they get stacked with the science bonuses the AI get make them very, very difficult to, um, to compete against. But I thought on this difficulty level, they wouldn't be that much of a problem. So I left them turned on. And how typical that the very first game I play after re-enabling that DLC, we end up bumping into Korea. So let's have a little bit of a look to the north here. We might find some more ruins that they haven't got yet. There's a lot of bad terrain here, so we're actually moving quite slowly. They're probably going to send their scout to the south, so we'll have a look around over here. We do have our scout now who is going to go out to the east. Might have been better off sending our warriors this way, but never mind. Let's go and get working on that monument. We want to get that culture as quickly as we can. And we'll keep looking around. We definitely would like some more ancient ruins. One that gives us a boost to culture would be nice. We have found our first city-state. So we'll pop over there where we can. We might as well move into that tile before going that way. And we have found Sarah de Potosi. And as usual, um, there's Singapore. Somebody else has already found Singapore. So there's probably another AI up here somewhere. Um, this is not quite in the AI's um, build range. See, I did want to put one over here. Possibly on that tile would have been ideal. Uh, a city right there would be great. It'd be next to the mountain. It would have access to all of these resources. It would annoy Korea, but I don't really mind that too much. So let's keep looking around with the scout. We will need to find a location for a third city. And obviously what we want to try and do here is we want to try and get three cities secured as soon as possible. So let's go and have a look over this way. We might be able to discover that other AI. And it is Shaka. I bet it's him that is up here somewhere. Can't say exactly where we've ran into him, but I'm almost convinced that it is going to be him. Oh, no, Shaka's down here, actually. So let's head in this direction. We're already losing score because the AI will be picking up a lot of these uh, ruins all over the place. Which doesn't work out too well for us. Let's move up onto the hill. We've now met Poland as well. So we're not going to have an awful lot of luck in finding some decent... Um, oh, there's pottery done. We're not going to have an awful lot of luck in finding uh, ancient ruins, sadly. Now pottery is done, we probably want to go for... Horses would be nice. Let's go into mining... Because we do have some stone we could start working. Uh, is that Shaka's capital? There's a Lundi. Yep, so we now know where Shaka is. So maybe we do want to head down there slightly. We might still find, find some ancient ruins. So Korea being one neighbor is not too much of a problem. Shaka being the other is slightly problematic. Just trying to have a quick look around here. See if I can find any ancient ruins. And then we're going to try and bring this warrior back. And we found Germany as well. There's probably not going to be any ruins up here, so I think we'll bring the warrior back. We have now completed the monument. Let's go and work on that shrine really quickly. 
I mean, you know, we are uh, Gandhi. We should definitely be uh, annoying people with some religion. And let's keep looking around down here. Quite a bit of tundra down on this side. I do want to get a settler out as quickly as possible. Um, before... Before Korea has a chance to spread too quickly, I don't want him to grab all of these good tiles. It was useful that we did manage to get that additional population early on. I think that will help out there. This isn't a particularly good area to be in. But let's start moving back. Obviously, using warriors to scout in an area that has uh, such terrible rough terrain is going to take ages. get up onto the hill well that's pretty much the end of um, that piece of land so let's start working our way back and we'll have to go down here now uh, we have another population but we are stagnating say so food isn't fantastic at the moment so let's just go and put you in a straight up to food tile and what we'll probably do is, is the moment we hit um, four population we will squeeze out our second city or we'll try at least Really do want to try and grab that one before the AI has a chance to. So let's start bringing you back. It is going to be 23 turns until we grow, which is quite poor. Uh, we can adopt a policy now, so we're going to go for tradition. So it gives us a little bit of extra culture to begin with, which is what we need. But yeah, I think settling right there would be perfect for us, really. Uh, you guys are going to head back. And we have mining. We do need to try and get ourselves a, um, a worker, actually. So maybe we should just keep our eye on Singapore and see if they, uh, if they have one. Are they being uh, protected? No, nobody at the moment. So we might be able to do that. Let's just go have a look and see if they get a worker at some time soon. Let's go for archery so we can actually get ourselves an archer or two. Uh, declaration of friendship with Korea. Yeah, let's go for that. We can avoid you attacking us for a while. That'll be ideal. Can't see any workers here yet, but the landscape isn't brilliant. So we could build a worker, but we might just go for that settler. Because 20 turns until the city grows is quite slow. Or we could just build the granary first. Getting a granary early would be really useful. But no, I think we want the settler. I think that city spot is too good to give up. So we're just going to have to do that. So we want as much production as we can possibly work. We don't have to worry about food. And that really is as much production as we can work. 18 turns. It's a long time, but we are playing on epic pace. So it's fairly standard. In the meantime, we'll keep having a look around with our scout. Do have some barbarians down there. Hopefully we'll be able to dodge them. They might come over here and attack me, but I they may not. But yeah, we do need to try and get a worker. Stealing one would be brilliant if we can. Yeah, our scout is being attacked over here, which isn't ideal. So we're going to start moving over there. We found a barbarian camp. Actually right on the spot that I wanted to settle. We'll leave it there for the time being. It might dissuade um, Korea from settling there, really. So we'll just leave it for a little bit of time. The problem we get here is even if Singapore does end up with a worker, we probably won't even be able to see it because of the terrain. Now, you're moving towards me, which is not something I appreciate. So we're going to go and have a little bit of a look down here. See what else we can find. You're moving towards the city, but that's fine. I haven't got any improvements. There's nothing you can do any damage to. The chances of us actually finding any ancient ruins down here that uh, haven't already been looted are very unlikely. But we'll keep looking anyway. Occasionally, you do get surprised. Let's try and get you finished off. Um, still no worker here that we can see. We'll just keep sort of popping. Not that we get any better vision from there. We don't want the embassy at the moment. I mean, we could take it for the additional money, but I think we will wait. Uh, that should be you finished off. There we go. That gives us a social policy. Um, we're not working on any wonders at the moment, so let's go for oligarchy so we can get legalism as quickly as possible. 
And we'll just keep looking around with you. We found a natural wonder, Lake Victoria. Now, it'd be nice to settle Lake Victoria. The problem is, it's in quite a crappy area. Um, you know, it's mostly tundra. So, that doesn't really make for a good, sp uh, good spot to settle, really. Still no worker over here that we can see. We might just end up having to get our own. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Yep, there's Lake Victoria. Let's go and have a look around on this side as well. Looks like it, we may be on... Well, we're not on an island. I mean, we have met some more civilizations. We'll probably have to go up to the north. Looks like we are pretty much on the south side of the um, of the continent here. Not too sure how many continents they're going to be. There's archery, which is fantastic. I mean, we could work on the Temple of Artemis. It would be fantastic if we could... But no, I think we need to get that settler first. We're going to work towards writing so we can get our um, library as quickly as possible. Although we may want to actually get... Our... No, we'll go for the library. We'll try and keep up ahead in science. I don't need to min-max as much as I normally would because we're not playing on such a high difficulty level. Found another barbarian camp. Looks like career scouts are held up there. That could be a good thing. If career scouts got hold... held up there, maybe there's some ancient ruins left to discover. So, let's move over here before they attack me. No, it does look like that is the bottom of the map, really. Come on, Singapore. Are you actually ever going to get a worker out that I can steal? Somebody has already founded a pantheon. We do have a shrine, so we are already starting to get some... Um, some faith. We need to heal this uh, scout up, I think. Again, still no worker. Not too sure what turn... On Epic, the city-states normally get workers. But I would like to be able to uh, get one if possible. Let's heal you up a little bit and we'll send you off to the north. Still nothing that we can see. We're not at the bottom of the scores at the moment. Come on, Singapore. Get a worker that I can uh, I can steal from you. Uh, you want to give me gold for an embassy. We don't want that at the moment. We'll wait until we can get mutual embassies. Um, food, we are not too terrible. Mind you, we don't have any food coming in at the moment because we're constructing a settler, so that's fine. Still no worker, eh? Now, Shaka is a potential threat. He is on the east coast, so we might need to get rid of him. Um, we're going to have to move from here somewhere. Serato de Posse will probably get um, inhaled by Singapore. I really do want to try and grab this um, this spot. How long have we got left on that settler? Three turns. And we will need a unit to escort it. So we're going to move down here actually. We're going to get into a position where we can start to get rid of this barbarian camp. Because we will need to get rid of that if we want to get our settler in there. We'll move towards home with our scout. We'll actually use our scout to escort the settler. So, we can put the scout on this tile. Um, skip your turn for now. We'll move you... No, not... Oh, I'm trying to select the wrong unit. That's why I'm trying to select Germany's unit. We really don't want to attack across the river if we can help it. So, we might just put them over there and see what happens. But that's the spot that I want. I'm hoping that Germany will attack them, to be honest. So, Settler is finished. We are we could go for the Temple of Artemis, actually. It'd be really useful if we could get that. I mean, that's a lot of growth, and we don't get punished for growing tall. We don't have brilliant food down here, so I think we're going to do that. And um, we are stagnating at the moment, which we don't really want. 39 turns, though, is a little bit ridiculous. The AI doesn't always prioritise this at lower levels. We don't really have any better tiles that we could really work. We could go one food, one hammer, two gold. That's 34 turns. Let's give that a try and see what happens. Um, we do want to start trying to do some damage over here because we need to get that spot cleared. We need an archer as well, really. But So let's um, get you to skip another turn. Obviously, we don't want our... Uh... Settler getting captured. That would be bad. Now then, we are going to move you over here and block Germany. 
you guys are going to move around in this direction. I've got to remember once we get to the hill, we should only move the settler one tile at a time. Because you can only move one tile at a time, so we only need to move the scout one tile at a time, is what I should have been saying there. Um, we want to heal up here. Because we can't finish them off in the current state. Um, we can get a policy and a pantheon. Let's go for aristocracy. I wouldn't normally take that this early on, but that will knock some time off building the Temple of Artemis. And what do we want to do? Do we want to try and get something that will give us additional culture? Or do we want to try and get something that will give us additional food? Pastures we're not going to have many of, really. Uh, unless we decided we wanted to settle down here for some reason. Because we'd get quite a few pastures if we went down here. There's no pastures up here. So yeah, I don't think the culture from pastures is that great. Uh, wine and incense. Um, again, neither of those, which is not ideal. Uh, plantations. Well, um, plantation is on dies, so we'll have a plantation there. We could get incense over here. I don't really necessarily want to settle this close to um, Shaka. But that might be what we end up doing. Um, gold and silver. We've only got one source of silver. Jungle tiles. We've only got one jungle tile. We might have a second one up here. I think we'll go for the plantation one. It seems like the best one to grab at the moment. So that's what we are going to do. But we shall continue in the next video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are enjoying this new series of Civilization V. I'll see you next time. And until then, goodbye for now.